be here. And maybe, maybe if every one of you will switch on the camera, it will be great. Yeah, guys, switch on your switch cameras. Don't be shy. So we can see everybody. Everybody's got cameras. Nobody's perfect. Um, you know, we are who we are. Ah, Leosha, I'm so happy to see you. So nice. <laughs> Nasha, it's the first Leosha. time I'm, I'm hearing you speak in English. I'm glad. Yes, it's a nice experience, actually, yeah? <laughs> we never <Yeah>. spoke on <laughs> English. Yeah, my English is uh, not good, but my feelings, I hope that I can transfer through English to you, to your heart, all what I feel, what I can give you yeah that'll be really nice thank you dasha um, you. dasha has been in the whole um movement uh for longer than me yeah i've been just uh, only two months and most of it has been online listening to lectures of radamir and uh radamir is this guy who studied quantum mechanics at university is quite wise and uh he just he brought this knowledge down that made me actually fall in love with Jesus in a way that I never thought I could. <laughs> but but Dasha, uh, do you think, what, what should we start with? From one side, we have a lot of people that are quite against Jesus. Like I know, like, uh, like I was, if somebody would have told me a year ago, Jesus, I was like, you know, F off, you know, what, what on earth you like this religion, this bullshit. I think it's happened with most of people. Because we have so many different imagination uh, about Jesus, and it was for me also like I couldn't, I couldn't even uh, uh, connect with the truth, which was behind this, because uh, we have so many things about religion, and uh, right now we are opening the the real conscious uh, unconditional love which Jesus brought to us mm -hmm. to our world and actually it's easier to start just with uh, uh, with unconditional love and a prayer that uh, yes and that um, our mind create everything what you have in your reality just start with this Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna follow you. You say a phrase and then give us a little pause so we can follow and say after you. Okay. Ah, uh, you want to create first, yeah. I think uh, so. so. We can get out of our heads and, uh, uh, yeah, prayer is really powerful because you create the state. Uh, yeah. My my wish now, if uh, people could say a few words about them, so I want to connect with everyone, with each of you. If it's possible just to say why you are why are you here and um what is your um uh, wish what you want to get from this uh, so is, that's if that's it's true. possible just to I would like to connect it would be great okay perfect so uh dr Kelly uh I don't know if that's your correct name go for it Hi, thank you for speaking English. I'm in America, in Colorado. Uh, my name is Dr. Kelly Gelhoff, and I'm a management sustainability scholar. And so I follow your work through the email. Mm -hmm. And I was feeling a little bit tense in my heart chakra because I'm facing some old past patterns and doing some trainings around taking care of people who are in their homes, elderly or disabled. Mm -hmm. And it's bringing back memories from my past. And so just trying to be really present with myself um, and the heaviness and letting it be uplifted because I'm in community and so grateful that we can use a platform like this to be globally connected, cosmically heart aligned. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. so. Much. I'm happy that you are here. Awesome. Who? Thank you, Dr. Kelly. Uh, who else wants to go? Just uh, um. Okay. So device says uh, in the chat, I'm altruistic. 
altruistic. Uh, not looking to get nothing here because Alosha is awesome. Okay, so he just typed in the chat because uh, he's here for me. <laughs> okay, cool. We're going to go about feelings. Uh, what does altruistic mean? Dr. Kelly? Selfless and giving, generous of spirit. Uh huh. Doing okay. for others before yourself. Okay. Uh, Karen, uh, unselfish regard for or devotion for the welfare of others. Okay, thank you. So who who else wants to just give a quick uh, introduction and uh, what do you expect from the session or what you want to have? Just switch on your microphone and go for it. And preferably your camera as well. I can introduce myself as well, just to say shortly my story uh, and why we are here <laughs> and what we can share. Um, so that's actually, I would like that it will be, you know, so easy in my English. Как сказать это? Заявляю волю, чтобы мой английский <laughs> передавал мои чувства. Hate my will that my English words convey my feelings. Convey yes, my feelings. I want because now I I want to say only the truth. You know, it's like each word is so powerful and so important that I can't say just something you know which is uh, not resonating with the truth that's why maybe i'll speak a little bit slower mm -hmm. so uh all my life actually i was looking for that freedom which i am here right now so that freedom which i get as a gift i got it as a gift and it's the greatest gift which i have now Finally, I start to feel freedom. <laughs> and all my life, I couldn't realize that I'm searching for this freedom. And uh, very fast, I tried everything what uh, uh, human searching for, yeah, comfort, uh, best education. I was studying uh, in uh, music academy. Uh, as a pianist for 16 years. I graduated the music academy in Ukraine. And very, uh, like it was, uh, I was 20, 25 years old. And um, I was a general manager in one producing center. Uh, and it was interesting life. So, um, we were recording new albums, writing new albums with the different stars. One of them is the popular singer Ray Horton. Uh, and it was uh, everything what I was searching, like, you know, materialistic world, like um, um, whatever you can imagine, yeah? So... It was very intense. It was uh, many connections with different people. It was interesting, but it wasn't what I was searching for. So it wasn't like happiness, which I was searching for. It was like, okay, you achieve some goal, but then you still feel that emptiness in you. Mm -hmm. And then you just uh, think about another goal, and you think you will be happy with that. But then again, when you achieve that goal, you are more unhappy than you was before. Mm. So at one point, I was like feeling so tired from that life. We were traveling all over the world, giving concerts. And then I uh, uh, traveled to Emirates and I met my future husband there. Uh, we were opening also event company there. And there I stayed for 13 years. And it was also like 
everything what you can imagine, like from a materialistic life, like we had the rent a car company, searching cars and nice life, nice life, you know, like what we were thinking before, nice. <laughs> uh, and then at, at some point I realized like, I don't have any sense anymore <laughs> in that life which I was living. Sense, no uh, sense. Чувство, чувство, да? Нет, смыслы. No sense. Ah, no, no, no sense. No reason yes. to live anymore. Okay. No, no reason, yes. <laughs> and uh, shortly I started to feel very bad. My health became bad. But mm -hmm. uh, no one doctor could uh, give diagnosis. Like we were traveling all over the world, and but finally it was like an MRI was showing. Uh, uh, so I, like I hear the the worst sentence, like you have only two months to live, and it was the darkest uh, night in my life. <laughs> yeah, I have here a baby, and she feels my my stuck feelings maybe in my body she, the body has a memory as well <sighs> yeah so from that point i i just uh, um start to research myself mm. and my wish to live was very strong It was like nine years of my healing, body healing. At some point, uh, I found out that I'm still alive. And uh, then I understood that I would like to try to be a mom. And I became pregnant. I became healthy, but I still didn't feel happy. So I became healthy because I understood that I have a wish to be a mom. So like my focus changed from sickness to another experience to be a mom. How is it to be a mom? And uh, in that motherhood, I understood that I don't know what is it love. I don't know how to love my kid. And with the third pregnancy, it was totally different. I had a dream. It was very interesting dream that uh, some men uh, present me a ring and it wasn't my husband and at that point I was so unhappy and I was like in the jail uh, my husband uh, Muslim mm -hmm. from Kuwait and I couldn't be I couldn't uh, speak open with him about what I feel, because it was all with that uh, frames of religion on how to say. Yeah. And there was no truth in that re relationship. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I can say there was love, yeah? Uh, there was like so met each other and I'm so grateful for him for all that life experience together. But that all uh, form of consciousness, conscious forms. Forms of consciousness. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't meet truly heart to heart with each other. Because of uh, that all religion, jail, uh, mind forms. And... Uh, once I decided that I want something different, I want to, I want to start living my life because even becoming healthy, my body is healthy, 
but still i i found out that i'm not living looks like that desert emirates desert wasn't me <laughs> i was a desert desert <laughs> there was no feeling you know like i locked all my feelings mm -hmm. and it was like that point um, no reason to live anymore even being a mom mm -hmm. and having everything to be healthy but still no meaning and then after that dream i decided to say that i want to uh, stop our relationship i want to divorce and it was the best moment actually in all our relationship mm -hmm. i'll change the position let's see okay. mm -hmm. yeah so from that time the truth started to become uh i i start to be open for my truth inside me mm -hmm. and we met each other with my husband for first time heart to heart because there was no more like you have to do this you are my husband i'm your wife so many things around this and uh, no more religion borders between us. Mm -hmm. We were like kids, you know, like first time met. <laughs> what are you feeling? What what are you? What is your dreams? What what do you feel right now? What do you wish really? So mm -hmm. we start to open up to each other. It was the best time actually. And uh, that child, the third child, which is here now. The what? I, I'll show. <laughs> the third child came in that, that period when I already divorced. Yeah, the third child. It's so from him. Pregnant. Okay. Yes, and and it's changed everything. It's changed uh, completely. This uh, soul changed me completely. So uh, she, like, I start to feel her. I start to see dreams, and she start to show me my way. And she brought me to Radamir. Uh, she named herself Mira. Mira. And, uh, Mira. Yeah, yeah. And from that time, I changed completely. So I, uh, I, everyone that I met, uh, I wanted to stop every person I say, just why are you running? What are you looking for in this life? Just stop for this moment. Just be in this moment. I want just to see your eyes. Just to let the love happen between us. Life. My, just this moment when you just, yes, when you just watch <laughs> through your eyes and the love happens. Mm. And what is more important than this moment? Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> and then you start to feel completely different. Can you imagine that all our energy, all our power somewhere, but not in not in us? Mm. And can you imagine if you will go out from all of that uh, uh that relationship, uh, business which you're not making you happy, which is not making your life more fulfilled and happy. Uh, if you don't feel love, just stop this because it's killing you. Yeah. Whatever is like you feel, I can't, I don't like, but I can't, then you have to do this. And you will see that God will support you. All universe will uh, support you in everything when you will choose yourself. Mm. Mm. Yes. And my child, yeah, through the dreams and uh, it was the miracles, everyday miracles. She brought me the soul. Yeah, I was pregnant at the time. To Turkey where I met Radamir who gave us the tools, <laughs> the greatest tools to become free just to understand yourself nothing else is it's actually the truth is so simple 
so simple. Just to be true with yourself. Like, what do I wish? What do I feel right now? Why I feel like this? Why my life is like this? And then you take responsibility. If you take responsibility that you create all that life which you don't like, your reality, then you ask yourself, but what I really want, then why it's not happening? Like this. And it's happened so fast. You will see that your life will be completely different. And it's totally different that, uh, that psychology or different practices which I tried. I tried everything. What do you think? If I wanted to leave, I tried everything. That nine years, I tried everything. Yoga, tibun, meditation, best masters of the world. Uh, yeah, before Radamir, it was Eckhart Tolle with Power of Now. I met him in Dubai. And it was very powerful. It's completely the same. It's a power of now. You can read his books of New Earth. But what Radamir gave is the, what we are giving is the tools. It's like instruction. So the power of now, Eckhart Tolle giving the, the top, the top of that uh, state of you, which you can reach. When, once you get all your energy in this moment, once you will take all responsibility, then you are becoming a creator of your life. And I don't know anything, anyone else than Radamir is giving all the tools. And now we are family. We are family with Radamir. We are creating a new world, new family where which each of us searching for unity. unconditional love to unity unity unity. Yeah. unity and unconditional love to each other and it can can be possible only when everyone is uh, in uh, true self like because now we can't say anything which is not resonating with the truth. We can't. We can't say anything that's we can't. resonating. We can't. No, no, it's painful. And that's why we can't hear also some, you know, like before in esoteric, it was all from the books, not from the true experience. Mm. And it was giving only a temporary result. Mm. And then you are back down and you don't know. It happens all the time. You take yourself up and then you are again back down. Because it was like a duality. So you are staying in the uh, absolute and you just uh, forgetting uh, and not accepting your body and... Uh, all what is down, you're not accepting and it's like fight. No, 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 I'm only with God. And then your body is uh, becoming like sick. And then you are only with the body. And then it's like a, a up and down, up and down. But now we came to that uh, center, the source in mm. your heart. Mm. Source of that love. And source of um endless power, endless energy. Now we don't want to sleep. Can you imagine I was nine months pregnant and I didn't sleep. Sometimes also I didn't eat for three days or four days. And then someone was asking me, are you taking some vitamin, vitamins for your baby? I was laughing because in that state of uh, very high vibration of love, your body in the best state it's 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 a miracle what our body can hold and show us when you can just go i was going with the baby she was uh, one month old and we went very high to the top of the mountains and i felt with each my step i felt more power i was holding her and just going up and it was 
Yeah. We can't imagine what we have, what our body can do. When you're connecting with the spirit, this body becoming a goddess body, it's 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 amazing what we are opening in. Because our mind was uh, in the frames, like what we knew about this. And that's why we couldn't research something more about ourselves. So that's that's all what I wanted to say. And now we can, uh, uh, if someone also wants to introduce to connect, because we are never, как сказать, не случайно. We never meet by chance. We don't. We don't ever yeah, meet by chance. Yeah. Yeah, we don't ever meet by chance, and uh, each of us will show us now. It's like uh, 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 we are nine, yeah, small community. Like uh, we are already creating that unity. Imagine like a body where everything has a reason to be. So each of you has a reason to be here. And if you will uh, check what each of us will say, you can find out that it's all about you. Well, this is like part of you. I'll 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 share my story. <clears throat> so in March this year, I started having a burning sensation in my heart, like like panic attack. Yeah, and. I have money, I have a home that I built, I have a wife, and but I'm feeling this anxiety, deep, deep anxiety. My legs are shaking and I just don't know what to do. And I go to a sauna, to a public sauna. It's like a big thing in Russia. And I see a towel that says, in a healthy body, a uh, uh, healthy soul. Uh, so it's, if здоровом теле, здоровый дух. Я вижу полотенце. So, healthy spirit, yeah? Healthy spirit. <laughs> healthy spirit, no, yeah, duch. healthy spirit. Duch, duch. duch. yeah. Uh, uh, in a healthy body. So I, I like, okay, so if I don't know why am I having this panic attack, I must go and clean my body. So I signed myself up into like a, a healing retreat center where I don't eat for seven days. And after I come back home, uh, I'm quite high vibration because I was just on water. And my ex-wife Zoya, she's like, don't touch me, don't hug me. You went away. I like, I didn't go on drugs. I didn't go drink or I just went to heal myself. And she's like, no, go away. Don't touch me. Don't, hu don't even hug me. So I looked at all of this and I went travel to Moscow. And from there, I, I applied for divorce. And then um, when it all dawned on me that I'm actually separating, I had this fear of loneliness. Because on top of all my other fears, now I don't have a wife anymore. So I'm all alone and I'm like, Zoya, please take me back. And she's like, no, you wanted it, have it. Like, go away. You know, that's it. Divorce is official. And I cried and I cried. I didn't know what to do with myself because I realized that I, my previous two marriages, I got onto these ladies and they were like six and seven. Zoya was seven, six years older than me. And my previous wife was almost eight years older than me. So I was looking for like moms in my partners. Even the way I held my hand when I walked with them, I held my hand from this side, not, you know, taking them, leading them. I was like, lead me, you know. So from the position of victim, uh, shame and guilt, but more like a victim mentality. Anyway, I have this fear of loneliness. I am so uh, at that point, I put a rope on over my neck and I was like ready to commit suicide because it was so painful. The panic attack now was compiled, compounded with being alone. Um, and then, uh, and then on my travels to Moscow, I I went into a church. Actually, that happened just before that. And I saw an icon, I don't know, an icon, icon of Serafim, Serafim Sarovsky. It's one of the saints. And I asked, who is this 
who is this guy? And they told me it's Seraphim and uh, they gave me this little present. So, and I kissed him and I put him to my heart. I didn't know anything. I was, I was a non-believer. A God didn't exist for me. There was like some God, some Jesus, some Buddha. It's like, whatever, you know what I mean? It didn't mean anything for me because like I'm full power. Mm, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I... Uh, was so down uh, so anyway the church also gave me an icon of of jesus christ this one okay and um why is this thing here uh-huh so uh so I started, you know, kissing them, putting them to my heart and praying because I was so low that I didn't know what else to do. It's like, God help me, you know, it was like a natural outcome. You get on your knees, you're so low, you, you, you're literally suicidal, um, such deep depression that, uh, that going without God is no longer a possibility, is no longer, you know, look at me, be seen like on TV, you know, all of that stuff. You, you really just you know, you get humble. Um, and then I also on YouTube, Radamir's lectures uh, came up and I started listening and absorbing all of this, uh, all, the, all of these lectures. And I realized that our reality is a product of our wishes. So if we don't like something in our reality, we need to look at our wishes and not just wishes, deep down wishes, the subconscious wishes. So let me give you an example. A victim will always find a tyrant. It's inevitable. If you're in a victim state, you will keep on attracting tyrants and for as long as you need to and to get you out of the victim state. Yeah, it's just a universal law. But the other thing that creates your reality that Radamir said, is a conscious, is a state, not even a conscious, forget the word conscious, is a good, um, warm, loving, cuddly state that I used to experience sometimes if I had gym in a swimming pool or if I smoke some weed the first two minutes and then stupidity goes over you, yeah? Uh, but this feeling of absolute bliss, like in an ecstasy feeling, you just feel this love, this high vibration, high energy, you really feel it. I'm not talking about some ephemeral blah, 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 some nonsense stuff that you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm talking about a very specific feeling of bliss, absence of panic attacks, absence of anxiety, and it's just a warm, loving feeling where you feel yourself like God, really like not the God, but sun God, yeah, but still God in your body, in your unique bodily form. So I started listening to all his lectures and uh, uh, he has these prayers, which I'm going to translate one of these prayers. And actually, maybe uh, I don't have one translated and I want we'll try and do one later on, but I want to have one translated so I, I find the correct words. It's very important. Uh, just a prayer to Christ to, you know, we will do it. But so you through these prayers, you start to call your soul back wherever you left it. We trade our soul by doing things we hate, by feeling a lot of pain and giving up uh, your soul. Like, I don't want to feel. So soul is an organ in your body that is responsible for feelings. Yeah? Like your heart is responsible to pump blood, your uh, liver to take out, clean up your, the stuff. Yeah, uh, the soul is an organ in your body responsible for feelings. Feelings of crying, painful feelings, feelings of joy, uh, you know, it, that's what it's responsible for. So many of us, we stopped feeling and we, by feeling so much pain, we're eventually like, I don't want to feel anymore. Like, and you, with your words, you know, you state it so in a high emotional, high vibrational, high emotional state, you state that I don't, you know, I don't want to say these words again, but, you know, you say that you don't want to feel like the, you know, whatever you're feeling. And then all feelings stop. People become numb. People become soulless. You know, uh, other ways that we trade our soul, I don't want to go into like entities and all the other stuff, but many of us have fragmented 
shredded our soul and left a piece here, a piece in our previous relationships. Uh, we forbidden our feelings, so we left it all out. So we have on the planet people, as far as I can see, that are not feeling anything. Um, like I was lucky enough, I never went into neurolept neuroleptics. Neuroleptics is another way we give up our soul, I believe, uh, by taking pills so we'd stop the feeling of pain yeah so anyway i'm not going to go into it the bottom line is that i started to feel i first felt a lot of pain so anxiety transformed into pain i cried and i cried and i started to process my guilt with my son my anger on my father my my not understanding with my mother i forgave my sister because my dad gave her the flat in Moscow and she never shared it with anybody, with my brother and myself, and she kept it to herself. And I forgave her. And she came just to Moscow the other day and I um, actually decided that I want to go and visit her. For the first time in three years we spoke and I went into Moscow and I traveled and I hugged her and I said, my sister, I love you. Whatever you've done or not done, I love you. And I, you know, I, I honor you. And guess what? At the end of the day, a tenant who was ha renting a flat for nine years phones and he says, I'm moving out. And she gives me the keys to this flat in Moscow, which I was so angry about. And she just gave me the keys and she says, yeah, Losha, you can, I'm no longer renting the flat out. You can live there as long as you want. The keys are here with me in my bag. So I have a flat in Moscow. <laughs> so miracles started to happen one after one another uh at the, at the and i just want to share a last little bit of story um i was really at my so i'm this now divorced i'm all alone my son is not speaking to me for three years at that time i was still angry at my sister and i have this rock bottom and the and what happens the money starts stops coming to me because when we're all in a knot we stop flow of energy and money stopped coming and i'm like on top of it the rock broke no no cash no money and i got on my knees and i'm like god and in this state i was already listening to radamir for a long time so i understood that saying putin or trump caused my bad reality and everyone is uh, you know is made me so bad it's their fault i could no longer do that because i believe that I am God. I cause my reality through my feelings and through my wishes. So if I don't like something in my reality, I need to change my feelings and look at my wishes, what I wish for. Yeah. So I got on my knees and said, God, how, why did I create this ass? Rock bottom asshole. How did I, why did I want to get into this asshole? You know? And, and, and I hear this voice that says, you're not following on your path. So the next question is, what's, what's my path? And, you know, this dialogue with uh, God started flowing and I started to realize that my path is what I'm doing here today with you guys. Share about love. Share how I came to Christ. Why Jesus did never appear to me because this whole uh, uh, sinners, we're sinners and God will punish us. That, that, Christian bullshit never appealed to me. That's why I was atheist all my life. But Radamir presented us with new Christ, with new Jesus Christos. That's how his name in Russian, Jesus Christos. In our Orthodox religion, we kept the original translatings from Greek. In Catholic religion, they've changed everything into multiple languages. And whatever the Pope thinks, that's what gets written in Bible. In Catholic, in, in, in Orthodox, it's a communal decision. One guy can't make changes in the texts. Anyway, that's the difference between Orthodox and Catholic. It's very important to understand that. Very, very, very important. Anyway, I believe what Radamir did, uh, and we'll explain it maybe later on future sessions, uh, it doesn't matter, is they tweaked Jesus Christ to be that guy that we want him to be which is a guy who can pull us out of any shithole, a guy who is like an older brother and uh, who cares for us, who loves us unconditionally, and just a friend. I'm like, okay, <laughs> Christ like that, I can accept. You know, not 
that I need to be on my knees all the time. I don't go on my knees often, like when I really like, you know, but otherwise I talk to him like it's a friend, like you talk to your brother, like I talk to Dasha. It's a good dear friend, like I'm talking to you. So the result is fear of money dropped, fear of loneliness dropped, all fears dropped, and more and more I'm living in the state of bliss without drugs, without alcohol, Whilst being all alone, I'm here all alone. I'm living in a village where I know two people and I don't. I, I seldom see them. So this is the result. So all I'm here trying to do, and I'll continue to do this, is to share how I got. I want to share the tools absolutely freely. It will be on donation basis if you know if you wish. It'll be great, but absolutely freely. I want to share the tools of how I got to feel how I got to drop my fears. And this is the uh, prayer. And maybe Dasha, I'll hand over to you. Maybe you can guide us through this prayer. If you Yeah, I've tried to make it even more simple to understand. Like uh, once you realize that you are creating all that reality and there is already so many research about this. For example, the movie, The Secret, and quantum physics now. We, we can already see that everything is a reflection of our mind, yeah? And we can change something with our mind, like by affirmation speaking, but uh, to reach the um, undermine, it's not always so easy, yeah? And uh, uh, if we are creators, we are responsible for our reality. But not always we can hold that responsibility. And that's great for us just to, even if there is no God, to create ourselves in our mind that there is God. It's bad for us to have some unlimited potential that someone who are complete, like absolute, can help you in any direction. Okay. That, I just want to explain what Dasha says. It's very important. So we can choose that there is God or we can choose that there is no God. Yeah. Because we are gods. So. And I is, that choice is the God chose. So exactly. So, so can you believe that a billion people, I don't know how many Christians are there have made a perfect uh, man out of this man, you know, like the perfect man in the, in, the, in the, like a man, God, so they're ready with all their energies, created this, all, en all yeah. their energies, a billion or two billion people. I don't even know how many Christians, all Christians, Catholics, Orthodox, and all Christians. Powerful. Created this powerful figure, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos in Russian. I'd like to say it in Jesus Christos because it's more closer to me. Okay. But Jesus Christos was, you know, I don't even know whether he was on a cross or not. It doesn't even matter for me. I choose to believe that there is God because this reality without God, uh, objective reality where this dark world is just going on its own path and we have no, um, we have no uh, uh, input into the subjective reality. It's a scary reality. And if you believe that reality, you will get facts confirming that that reality exists for you and you'll see the facts all over everywhere that that's how it is. And I I will, will, say it again? Yeah. And that will uh, confirm everything what you believe. Exactly. Facts will confirm everything you believe. We in the family of Radamir believe that we are gods. Uh, Dasha is God. Uh, Dr. Kelly is God. Jay is God. Everybody is God here. Okay. And we are all playing this game together. There is no objective reality. Okay. That's why I stopped watching news. I stopped following the war in Ukraine. I like ended all of it. All I'm focusing on every day. I even did stop drawing. The, those of you know, I promised to get the drawing of this house. I even stopped drawing. For four months, I was just finding this love. And today I picked up a pen with the Watilarium drawing and I started to draw because from this good state, um, Dasha, I hand to you, maybe you want to add something. 
I like to ask each of you. You can just close your eyes and ask uh, soul, my soul, what what you are wishing for. So what is my wish now, right now? What my soul wish? Okay, what is my wish? Correct. And just write. Yes, you can just write it in the chat. Okay, so close your eyes and just ask. What my soul wish? Yeah, so uh, close your eyes and ask, what does my soul wish? What does it want right now? Mm. I, I, I want to hug Dasha. And mm -hmm. I, I want to hug all of you guys. I just have this love going I from my heart. And this love. Do you guys want to just... Oh, Answers okay. will be always love. Uh, yeah, do you want to switch on your microphones and just say, Daryl, do you want to switch on your microphone and say what's coming up to you? Switch on your video if you can. All of you can switch on your video. I can imagine how in this will in our community, I think it become true now. Just believe your belief creativity. Your belief creates your reality. Your belief creates your reality. Daryl, what are you feeling? Yes, I would love to see a greater growing of not just unity among all of us as friends, but to be guided in expressing that through not just our Christ-like community, but like in what you're talking about earlier, the building of better homes and better lives for everyone that's in this community. Bringing in the spiritual element is so vital. So I love, I love seeing that. It's, it's you're basically doing what I'm praying that we'll see more and more of. But what are you feeling on your heart? What does your soul want? Gosh, you know, you and I, we've talked about this kind of good stuff so many times before. This, this Zoom call is exactly the kind of thing I've been. It's like I wanted it and here it is. You know what I mean? It's this is a manifestation. of. OK, OK, yeah, you broke up there a little bit, but. um. I can feel. <laughs> I can feel love. In, in I can day. feel love out of Daryl, Doctor. <laughs> yeah. Doctor Kelly, what 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 came to you when you asked about your soul? Oh, it was kind of funny. I wanted to feel safe and secure in my loving relationships, and to feel held. Right before you said about having a hug. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you could it's actually. Very confirming. You you can yeah. actually state your will. I uh, state my will. Uh, I want to feel safe and loving within my relationship. So you actually state it. Your words carry a lot of power. Uh, and if and then and then you can also ask uh, Jesus Christ, please help me to feel safe and loving within my relationship. I ask you to please help me. I want to feel this. I state my will. I state my will. Um, I, uh, you know, and I'll try and translate it. Maybe there's better words, but uh, maybe some of you can help me. But yeah, so you basically you order your but will. I'd like, I'd like to go deeper. In this like uh, to ask yourself why I don't feel secure in this uh -huh. relation and why I create for myself this unsecure feeling in my relationship. What is the greatest potential from this relationship showing me that I feel unsecure to go deep into this? Okay, so what Dash is you close your eyes and ask yourself. Close your eyes. What I really want to feel. If I feel right now secure in the relationship, then what I would really want. Uh -huh. If I feel secure in my like a mother wound, I was wanting to be near my mother and feel that unconditional love of Christ that she shared with me and she passed 20 years ago. I 
it's exactly what I brought in my heavy heart today with like <laughs> But you're right, it was this victim idea that made it harder to state my will as a prayer of belief behind it, um, that it was easy to resolve, mm. that I could find a different source of the same unconditional love that I feel like I'm missing oh. my craving. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and we are coming back in in me, victim is within me. Whatever I create, whatever situation I create in my life, that was my wish. So when I, for first time here, that whatever I have in my reality, that was my wish, I was like thinking, how come? How could I wish this? But when I really went deeper into this, I understood what exactly which feeling I wanted to Dasha, feel Dasha? in this and I found out that was, yeah yeah I think you closed your microphone when I was uh, when, I, when uh, can you hear me now yeah when I was sick I start to go deep into that research why I wanted to be sick uh, yeah but before that sickness, I wasn't alive. I wasn't anything. I blocked my because I had fear from uh, life. And there were so many things behind that. And then I created that sickness to become alive, to feel life very deep and intense. And believe me, when when uh, you are experiencing that pain, it's like uh, nothing was helping. No painkillers wasn't work. I felt that was also kind of love, which I was searching for, that intense feeling. It's hard to understand, but when I was deeply into that pain, I found out that it was the... Uh, the way how I was experienced the uh, intense feeling of love. Mm -hmm. But attention was in that moment. All my power and attention was in that pain in my body. In that point, I was completely attentive to my body. Mm -hmm. Like never before. Mm -hmm. So and I wanted to ask you now, like, um, what you are reading? Why you create that relationship where unsecure? For what? Just you can close your eyes and ask what I want. If I created now, if I'm a creator and I created this relationship, I created this person who is not giving me that secure feeling which I wish. For what? What is the reason? What I should get from this experience? Why I so all of you can go in maybe you've got some relationships that are not healthy in your life you can ask the same question why do i have this person in my life for what reason did i attract this person what is the lesson that i need to get spirit show me what lesson i need to get is jesus christ show me you know God, show me what lesson do I need to get? You can ask all these three entities. They ask, they give different answers, by the way, that, or they might give different answers. Yeah, but better to say, uh, um, if you say spirit, yeah? Uh, that we mean the spirit of the truth. Spirit of the truth. The God, the spirit. Yeah, important to name spirit. Because it can be alpha from uh, another oh. spirit, which is around. yeah, yeah. There are many spirits. So you're talking about it, spirit of the truth. truth. Yes, как мы говорим, дух истины, дух истины, дух. And okay. spirit, uh, God, the spirit is also can remain like here, which we are breathing, breathing. This is this uh, God, the spirit. So you can deal with whatever night with you, or you can just ask yourself, because God within you. So God within you, uh, uh, spirit of the truth, 
spirit of God uh, or God spirit. Yeah, we'll still play with these words. We need to find the correct, but it's your intent. You're obviously looking for the, the, the truth. It can be completely different every moment. Like you can uh, speak uh, with Jesus Christ, or another moment you can ask uh, God Spirit. Uh, you will feel. We ask Radamir because all of this, all complete, Jesus and the Spirit, God, uh, Father and Son, all in one. We just choose all in one. So it will be different. You just yourself so what dasha is explaining is basically you start having opening this dialogue and you start trusting that it's not you going mad that it's actually god speaking to you you ask questions you sit down you relax a bit close your eyes ask the question take a deep breath and the answer comes you believe that it comes <laughs> You know, obviously, if you don't believe, you said, ah, I'm just trying this because Alosha and Dasha said, uh, then it ain't going to work for you. You really, really, really need to believe that God exists, that God will give you the answer. Just choose, choose, choose. Even can't believe. Just choose to believe. Yeah, yeah choose, that's all. choose to believe. <laughs> yeah, choose they to believe. Every day, they're choosing. Even when you wake up and you don't feel love, you choose this love to create this love within your heart. You choose to have the source of unconditional love in your heart. You choose to believe in Jesus uh, Christ. You choose to believe in Spirit and God's Spirit. By your choice, creating all the reality. And that's why it's so powerful to create your state every day. Okay, I have a prayer. I found that it's already been translated in the history, in the past. I found the prayer in English. Okay, guys, close your eyes and repeat after me. I choose to believe in the perfection of everything that is happening in my world. My body my soul, and my mind. I choose to believe in love that is behind everything and that is revealing itself in me right now. The love criteria is a goal, the means, the truth, and the path in my life. I choose to believe in the living God, our Lord Jesus Christ. I choose to believe in our living mother, our planet, the mother of God, and our unity with her. I choose to believe in myself as a loving child of Father God and Mother Planet, as a child of God in this unique human form, along with my involvement in the living God. I choose to believe in the perfection of all God's creation and my perfection as a masterpiece of the Lord in my unique human form. I choose to believe in a single life-giving source in my heart and through oneness with Him, with our heart, oneness with God, with all things. I choose to believe in the already fulfilled kingdom of God in my heart and here on earth and spreading its presence throughout the planet. I choose to believe in eternal life. I mean, I pass all the doubts that arise when choosing faith for healing in the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you that this has already happened. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, so this is a translated prayer in English that we speak in Russian. I say it. 8, 10, 15 times a day. So the way that it works for me is as soon as I start falling out of this loving, blissful state, I start speaking the prayer. I start speaking the prayer. I go for a walk. I go for a cold plunge. I have a really cold water, river running through. 
um, it's not like one solution. The prayer is really helpful because what before took me months of psychological work to process my father, uh, like my father, my 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 earthly father who gave me you know my mom who gave me birth my family yeah it was weeks and weeks of inner personal work now i ask jesus christ to help me understand what i need to realize about the situation why i created my father who was drinking and shouting at me uh, why i because there are no other everybody mirrors us okay but that's like future we'll talk about these things okay so with jesus christ i get answer immediately what would be weeks of works now for me is an answer immediately then i say please heal this transform this by you know take this and transform this into love this 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 thing that i need to realize i name it and boom it it dissolves miraculously it dissolves because i believe in god i believe in jesus christ and i believe that they can dissolve it like this and it's a freaking magic. It's just amazing. I can't explain it. Okay. And, um, but it's a multiple story. Okay. Uh, it's a cold plunge for me. It's walks. It's maybe some gymming for others. It's processing my son who is not speaking, hasn't spoken to me for three years. And before I would always like, please forgive me. Please forgive me now. I processed my son. I said, you know what? When you're ready for an honest dialogue with me, my heart is open. But I will not be this shame in the shame and guilt that I'm some bad father, that I did these bad things to you. My son, my son Kairos, he's 18 years old. He lives in Cape Town. So I dropped that guilt. So it's a multiple story to feel this love. So you actually ask... What is making me, what is separating me from this feeling of blissful love? You close your eyes, you get the answer, like your father, your, your son will come up or your mom will come up, uh, some pain there. And you like say, okay, how do I heal this pain? Dasha, what do you want to say about this? That's why we need, the, uh, we need someone who already reached this level of unconditional love. Which we never experienced before. Can you mean, like all Christians, they are loving Jesus Christ and they are giving that power. And that's why exactly we are taking Jesus Christ as an unconditional love, someone who reached that level through his life experience and Sadania uh, Buddha. Okay, so, so uh, suffering. So, what Dash is. Suffering. Yes. Suffering. He just aged that. So, level. Jesus Christ yeah. suffered for humanity. So, she talks that Jesus Christ reached that unconditional love. And I believe yes. in I believe in that. And uh, all this traditional uh, Christian religion is about suffering continue suffering and that's why so many people they feel like oh no no this is Jesus Christ the religion no 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 because there are so many things behind that like our imagination you go to a church and there is so many things like this is not allowed this is not allowed this is not allowed and this will be punishment this will be you will get this it's it's completely not not freedom it's not about freedom at all well, that's why, Dasha, that's why I chose to be atheist because I went into church and they're just washing me with this guilt and sins that I'm like, no, yes. I already yes. feel guilty in my life, already guilty enough. Now to go to church, they're pushing more guilt down my throat. I'm like, I'd rather not, you know, in the past believe in God than go into this uh, place where I feel Yes, yes. yes. And the real Christians, they are free. They are completely free. God wants to be happy. He wants to be happy. And that's why we are coming to that freedom by cleaning our mind from that old guiltiness, fears, and all that stuff which is not let us be happy. For example, in relationship, most people, they are unhappy. Because all about contracts, uh, agreements. Yeah, agreements, contracts, agreements. Agreements, like 
uh, you know, something you can't overthrow because maybe it will hurt another person and feel guiltiness. And then you have fear to say something, what you feel because you imagine that it will hurt another person. That's all, this is not truth. <laughs> And once you are cleaning yourself from all that stuff, you can find such love. And it's not about relationship. Yeah, I'd like to just uh, add something to the prayer, which wasn't here, which we say every day. So close your eyes and state after me. Uh, with the power of Jesus Christ, I cut all contracts, all agreements, all ties, all cords with any other entity, uh, people, gods, uh, relation, relationships, anything that doesn't serve me. I cut everything off right now. Everything that doesn't serve love, everything that doesn't uplift my energy, I cut off right now. All contracts, all agreements, all ties, strings, cords, to any entities, to any other gods, to any other uh, spirits uh, that don't serve my uttermost uh, uh, spiritual growth and don't serve as form of love. I cut all of it off right now and what I state in my reality is the law. I mean, with the help of Jesus Christ, all of these contracts and agreements and ties are cut off right now. Ah, you started to yawn. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's working. When you start to yawn, your neurons are starting to rewire. It's a very good sign. <laughs> very good. Very good sign. We all yawn all the time. Another mirror is with us. Yeah, he's with us. I, yeah, feel also... that, I feel that energy, yeah. Very nice, very nice energy. Yeah, I can continue if you like. I would like to take you to a little bit uh, deeper and more relaxed state just to feel that together. Mm -hmm. So just close your eyes. Be sure that you sit nicely and you can feel your body. Because it's very important to connect the, the God spirit with your body. It's very important. Close your eyes and start just to observe your breath. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. And just observe the state between that breathing. And now check if you have some parts in your body where you can feel maybe pain or some pressure or not relaxed part just with your attention send love to this part you can ask your body always what you want to show me what I should realize because our body is speaking with us as well God's spirit, Brother Mir speaks to me. Mm-hmm. 
Now with all your attention, just go to your heart and continue just finding your breath in your heart. Just feel what you feel in your heart, just check. Following my soul wish, I'm opening my heart wider and wider for unconditional love. And in the middle of my heart, from the thought, I'm finding like a source of unconditional love, like a projection from the unit uh, source of, of life. So say this after Dasha in your, either with your lips or just say it out. It's, you know, not allowed, but you, you can allow it if you want. Repeat, yeah. Now kids around showing that we have some like not acceptance in uh, our hearts. Just find if you have something what is like fighting with that flow which we have right now. Mama? And I'm I'm observing how the energy of unconditional love is just filling my heart. Yeah. Oh my body. Okay. And I'm choosing to feel and to observe God's smile in my heart. I just want to feel that calmness, unconditional within me, unconditional love. And just continue observing how the light, light of love filling each cell of your body.
we can also say I ask for my soul to return to me uh, in its full size. I ask my soul to return to me in its full size from wherever I have traded it, gave it away, forgot it, pushed it away. I ask for my soul to return from all my previous relationships or from all the entire universe. I call for my soul to return to me in its entirety. Dasha? So whatever will not resonate with the love, with unconditional love can appear in you. So whatever you feel, all feelings which are not like accepting this, something fighting within you, we just accepting with our choice. Like I choose to accept this. Choose to accept all feelings that are resonating with me. And then you go to another level you are having a power to transform these feelings. Mm -hmm. So this is exactly what bringing you freedom. When we feel, for example, fear, and we are not understanding that we are feeling fear, we can stay in this fear for years. It can be just background feeling. Hmm. And it will take our energy. And at some point, we could find ourselves sick. But once we observe this, why we need this uh, meditation? Yeah, let's call it meditation. Once we observe this, we are having power to transform this feeling. And with your attention, you can already transform it. Mm. You can ask, you can ask God's spirit or Jesus Christ, please help me. Can you check this feeling in me, which I feel right now? You can name it. Better always to name this feeling, what, what you have right now. Oh. I'm asking you to transform it into unconditional love. And like, you continue so, observing. For example, yeah. uh, like for me, uh, I have a fear of loneliness because still a little bit. And I say, uh, Jesus Christ, please help me transform this feeling of loneliness into unconditional love and fill me with love. So I feel, so I feel these, so I feel this love, no matter who is around me, even if I don't have anybody around me, I want to feel this love. Jesus Christ, please help me to feel this love. Dasha? And also loneliness, you can check what is behind this, why you want to feel loneliness. Because loneliness, it's not something what you have, what you have to... I want a hug. I want a hug. Like when I came to Sochi, we were holding your hand and we were hugging. I miss that. Yeah. I miss that. Yeah. I don't even want sex. I don't even but, want anything. I just want a hug. True, but your true wish to be alone. You know this. You want this loneliness. And now you can ask, why do I want this feeling of loneliness? Why do I want this feeling of loneliness? to learn unconditional love to myself without anyone yeah mm -hmm. that's why i chose this and more, deeper, more deeper because you can you can learn this even with us it's not it's not the true answer go deeper i i know because i get the answer i know what 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 is the reality why you I, created I, the I am also scared to engage in friendships, to be hurt, to be hurt. And I don't feel like I have enough money to live in where your the Radomir family. See how many problems we found behind that. Just ask, God's spirit, please help me. Help God's me spirit. with this fear. 
I God, want help me with this fear. Yeah, I want to heal this fear in me within me. I don't I don't want to feel this fear, fear. that I don't have enough money, all imagination about money. I want just now a release or how to say I just uh, release, yeah. Yeah, I want I to all fears about yeah. money. And I'm opening to the new form, conscious mind form of money. How is it coming to me? Opening to new forms, conscious forms of money. How is it coming to me? I'm opening for the miracle. I'm opening for the miracle. How money coming to me? How money can come to me? Yes. And another fear was about relationship. Confrontations. Like, yeah. I'm scared to be hurt. Hurt. But nobody can hurt you if you don't want to hurt yourself. Then ask yourself why you want this pain. <laughs> why you still want this pain. Just see that it's uh, the way how you experience love as well. Through this soul pain. Mm -hmm. Through this feeling. Accept it. Say, I understood. Thank I, I, I accept pain. I accept emotional pain. I, I agree. I'm grateful for this experience. But now I am opening myself. I'm opening up for uh, another... another. Uh, for another... For another... Uh, experience. For new sides of love. For new edges, for sides. New sides. For New, new new experiences of love. Um, yeah, Tim Kilutruskat. Like a rainbow has different aspects of light. Uh, light. Okay. For the different aspects of love. Okay, I'm opening I'm open up myself to different aspects of love. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because it can be so amazing. We don't we don't need to choose only <laughs> this pain. <laughs> I don't want to choose pain anymore. I know how to feel love. I know how to feel love with the pain. Now I'm opening for uh happiness, for uh joy, for extas, for like a flow of life within me, in my body, um, new connection where I can experience new aspects of love. Yeah. So, so, so I, when you see what we're doing, we are creating a new reality of what we want with our words. Things that we need to heal, we give to Jesus Christ to heal it and transform into love. And then we fill ourselves with what we want. What we want what we really want yes and if you make believe for ourselves if you believe that your words have power then and to recode your reality with new uh, meanings new understandings yes. new feelings then they do have that power they do you are god like new system in computer yes so we like, are a pro like a pro you know oh. Those of you who know programming, you can you know how you put in a phrase like two words, and it has a whole package of uh, um, things that upload into your programming language. But you just put two codes, like a little code, and it uploads a whole big thing from a database and inserts it. That's what we're doing. And uh, if you will try, you will see miracles. I would yeah. never believe what I could achieve with this. I would never believe these miracles which I face every day. If I start to say about miracles, it's just endless. It's everyday miracle. Every day. Even this baby. This is a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> that will be a separate um, uh, a fear. Yeah, like we will make a translation about uh, miracles in life which we face. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this with Dasha uh, regularly, at least once a week. And just before I forget, I'm gonna type in our PayPal address. Um, if you guys feel the earning, uh, uh, you could send a donation. We're gonna split it with Dasha 50 50. 
So that will really help us. Um, um, yeah, Daryl, uh, I'll type in yours, okay? Yeah. So we can continue with the um, our, it's not affirmation, this is like a structure of our new mind, what we want to create in our reality. So Dasha, can you explain to us what's the difference between an affirmation and the work that we are doing? Because that's like a, a, an important question. Yeah. Uh, affirmation uh, is just same sentences can be, yeah. But there is no deeper understanding and deeper level of releasing the old pattern to the new one so it's very important to find out the old pattern which created this uh, uh, reality which you don't like and once you find out why you create this then you are bringing the new uh, reality which you want to build with the new sentence so that's why it's very important to find the root, the cause, why you created something that you don't like. Okay. That's why. Yeah. So actually, um, we are starting our day with these words every day. Yeah. Like, I choose to believe. I choose to believe that in God. Yeah. I choose to believe in Jesus Christ. I choose I to choose believe in the believe perfection that... of everything that's happening with me and around me. Yes, I choose to believe in unconditional love and that each moment is opening to me unconditional love. Even if I don't understand and I can't see uh, love in this situation, I choose to believe that I will see that it was also love. So with these words, you are creating your reality and you will see miracles which are happening. Yeah. Because then you don't have enemies. You are grateful for everyone <laughs> because with each connection, you will find so much treasure for yourself. You will research yourself in any connection, in yeah. any situation. And I just want to say about affirmations, because I used to write, I, I had like a half an hour affirmation list and it got me into such depression. Why affirmations I feel don't work is because if you're living in this anxiety, panic attack, you know, this like the state in this terrible state, you are saying like these things that you want to create and it's just backfiring it, like it just doesn't work you know you need to align a good flowing loving state what i'm feeling right now with what you wish you what you intend and then boom it happens yeah so uh i also would like to suggest for you um uh, write down all your wishes mm. And then try why these wishes are not true. Why you don't want that these wishes will become true right now. Because we believe that all our wishes already, uh, they are already done. So we should see this in reality. But there is something under this wish, which you are really, you don't want this to become. Yeah, for example, um for example what 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 people want mm, to have some kind of a car yeah and they don't have it right now so behind this there is some another wish it's not the true wish of your soul why you want to have this car and you start to understand that this is just the uh this wish came not from your heart you just want to feel uh, that you are cool, yeah? Like in this mentality of, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, just like this case. Uh, but the true wish of your soul is different. 
yeah or to be in relationship you want to feel secure for example yeah <laughs> like we heard before but the true secure feeling a relationship will not give this true secure feeling no hmm. you want to find that god connection within you which will give you a fearless life and freedom freedom from fears and completely secure feeling this is the true feeling of your soul true wish so that's very helpful and useful to write all your wishes and then to research why it's not happen and what is behind it yeah. for example someone wants a child but then find out that there is a fear that for example it will take all your attention or different cases or to feel uh, pain to lose the baby or a different 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 programs it's always unique and different and we are open also for a private session if you feel that you want to go deeper to research yourself and to have a help and support we are open for this as well and we're not charging we don't have that charge system we have like a donation it's only for you because as more you are giving energy as more you can take a result from this but we are working just because it's our joy and it's uh it's a joy to see how life's changing, how the heart opening, to see that joy and uh, that eyes which are completely different. Yeah, yeah. Last week I had a session and one of the American subscribers at the end of the session, he's like, I'm starting to feel, I, I, I want to cry, I want to cry. I'm like, you're alive, you're alive. I was so happy for him. And the whole next day I was feeling so much joy that we have, you know, made one person feel something because he wasn't feeling anything before. And he uh, expressed that he wants to cry and it was so beautiful. Uh, so love and bliss is not all... To get to this blissful, beautiful, amazing, warm, heartwarming state, sometimes, most times, you have to go through that pain of crying, the... Uh, old relationships like whatever pain you need to cry it out whether you're man or woman i'd like to ask yes. dasha if what is everybody feeling yes please it would be so great if you will just hear your voice uh dr kelly what are you feeling well, i'm feeling a sense of relief uh, maybe more peaceful than when I started and inspired that you are doing what you feel led to do boldly. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. leading us in that dialogue with ourselves. Oh, that's good to hear. Next Saturday, same time. Yes, yeah. the last thing I want to say that imagine that we are like a, a sasud, как будет? Uh, uh, that we are um, uh, an empty vessel, empty vessel, like a... empty vessel. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, and uh, it's you can even close your eyes and check uh, uh, what is it within this. Just yes. imagine, because, yeah, in this vessel, it's not empty. We are coming empty. <laughs> as like this baby but then it's felt with something like with all that form of uh, with uh, all that fears and guiltiness and all that programs which are holding us from freedom you can just close your eyes and see yourself uh, this vessel You can ask God Spirit, show me, please.
and you will understand what you're working with. I remember when I checked before my way started to Rodamir, it was like 70% of dark, of darkness, and everything what wanted uh, to leave already. <laughs> I mean, just to release. I wanted to release that all. And that's so amazing. With each of this realizing of these uh, programs and releasing and transforming to unconditional love, how much happier you are becoming, how much free you are becoming. And I wish each and everyone to become free and happy. And that miracle which we reach now, like three days ago, I just realized how we reach that state of such joy to be yourself. I found such a joy to be myself in this body, to attend myself. And I was laughing, I was writing a post story like, a woman, where have you been all the time? Hmm? Where was been, I have been before? <laughs> I was everywhere, but not in me. Yeah. And that's how we were living as slaves. We were serving everyone around, but not ourselves. And it's not about being egoistic and selfish. This is the best state where you can serve in the goddess way <laughs> because you will enjoy this serving. Yeah. Anybody yeah. else wants to share how they're feeling before we uh, say goodbye? Yeah. Jay, switch on your microphone, device, Kuma. Just share. How are you feeling? Hi. Uh, hey. yeah, I'm feeling quite relaxed and all. Like I've been having a hard time expressing feelings before. So I think this was like a good step. This was a what? This was like a good step. Good step. A good what do you feel right now? Can you just describe your feeling? What is your name? Jay. Jay. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jay. What do you what's feel your, right what's now? What's your name? Sorry. Your name? Daria. Da Daria. Da Daria. Daria. Means uh, sea. Sea. Like sea, like ocean sea? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what I'm feeling right now, like, yeah, can you imagine? Before I was, I couldn't also name the feeling <laughs> because <laughs> it was blocked everything. But now, it's so uh, amazing when you can describe directly. Just what exactly? Just check what is it in your body. What 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 do you feel? Maybe put your heart and hand, you can, put your hand open, on your heart. You can open. You can say even, I feel that it's all bullshit and you guys are <laughs> saying bullshit. So we are open for everything and we love the truth. We love, love. the truth. It's much better. Even if you say uh, bad words, is better than not to show the truth. So what are you feeling, Jay? I'm feeling happy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, nice yeah, more, more relaxed. But yeah, maybe a little anxious too. <laughs> Same okay, way. okay, then say Jesus Christ, please heal this anxiety within me. Show me yeah. What, yeah, yeah. Show me what this anxiety is about. Show me. <laughs> Okay, so please link this with me and show me the, what's this anxiety about. Yeah. And then you stay within the question uh, until you get the answer. It should come pretty soon. Uh, if not, do a little meditation. Just keep on asking this question. It should come like pretty quick. 
So you can do it right now yeah. if you want. I think maybe how others would receive, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jesus Christ, please heal my fear of uh, uh, how others perceive me. Uh, this... Jesus Christ, please, please and help. And also, you can say, I forgive myself. Yeah. And if even if I don't know how to forgive myself, I choose to forgive myself. Jesus Christ, help me to forgive myself. I don't judge myself anymore. Mm -hmm. And I'm understanding that no one can judge me if I don't judge myself. Mm. I want to forgive myself. And I'm forgiving myself. And it's such a freedom when we can forgive ourselves. I allowed myself to be, and I accept myself as a best shedever. shedever, <laughs> the best gift from God. I, I, I accept myself as the best gift of God. <laughs> you could say it like that. The best of human form. In the best human form, yeah. So you just sp speak these things in, in your mind behind Daria and uh, and believe. Yeah, can... yeah. Thank you so much for sharing and for being with us. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Anybody else wants to share what they feel? Device? Okay, friends, thank you so much. I've put a link to the to the donation above. If you feel the calling, you can donate there. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next week, Saturday. Dasha, what do you want to say? I'm grateful for everyone for being with us. I'm grateful for us to choose to make this session. I'm grateful for you all. Thank you. Great all our family and rather me to support us in this. And um, I I hope to see you next week. Yes. And Thank more. You. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.